Welcome back, babes. I am ecstatic over doing yet another workout video. Today, we're going to focus on our abs and strengthening our core. But before we get started, I wanted to mention a few exciting things we have going on in the month of February. Number one, we all know that we're celebrating Black History Month. Yay! Number two, we're also celebrating Valentine's Day. And last but certainly not least, February is National Heart Month. So today I am going red with my bandana and my red sneakers for Women's Heart Month, which is dear to me because I am a type 1 diabetic. So heart health means everything. It prevents my diabetes from spiraling out of control. So take the time, make your appointments, get your health checks, check your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and also get tested for diabetes. All right, y'all, meet me in your living room. Make sure you have your mat, your bottle of water, and a hand towel. Let's get started. Our workout is gonna consist of five exercises that are going to target your abs and strengthen your core. Each exercise we're gonna do 10 times. We have two rounds. The first round we'll modify, take our time and modify the exercise. The second round, we're gonna take it up a little bit, okay? All right, so we're also, just go ahead and giving you a heads up, we're going to practice our planks in the end by holding for 30 seconds twice. Our goal is a 60 second plank hold, okay? So let's go ahead and start by laying on our mat. We're gonna make sure that our lower back stays on the floor. I like to tell myself to tilt my pelvis meaning my hip bones go towards the ceiling. That way I know that I'm beginning my sit up or crunch with my lower back glued to the floor. And we're gonna go ahead and start now with crunches, which is a modified form of a sit up. Make sure you're not pulling on your head or your neck, okay? Make sure you exhale outward when you go up. We need to make sure that we remove the air from our tummy, okay? And just take your time. Let's do this with a purpose. There's no need to rush. We want to feel every movement. We want our abs turned on with each movement, okay? And not just going through the motions. And we begin now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great job. Our next exercise, we're gonna keep the crunch, but we're gonna add a knee lift to it, okay? So we're gonna alternate our knees for the lift, but our count is gonna be right, left, one rep, okay? Remember, always begin with a tilted pelvis, okay? No pulling and breathe out. And we begin now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. 10. Great job. You're doing great. Right now, you should feel that your abs are turned on, which is a good thing. Okay, so we're moving on to exercise number three, which are flutter kicks. But for the first round, we're going to do a modified version. What I have my students do who have weak abs and they have an issue with keeping their lower back on the floor as they do the flutters. Okay, that's what the flubber kicks look like. Okay, so instead we're gonna modify it, but basically keeping one leg on the floor, which again is gonna be like doing knee lifts. Okay, but the only difference is instead of coming up and down like a crunch, we're going to hold the contraction right there in the abs as we bring our knees to our chest one by one. Okay. So right, left, leg counts as one rep. 
We begin now, make sure you tilt that pelvis. All right, do that check. Don't pull on your neck, don't pull on your head. And remember to breathe, even though we're isolating the abs, I still want you to exhale, all right? And we begin now. One, two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, ten, excellent, excellent, excellent job, you girls, uh, holding, isolating those abs, and also working hip flexors. You're, anytime you do a knee lift or a leg lift, definitely working hip flexors. All right? So exercise number four, we're going to flip over into a plank position. So let's go over what a plank looks like. All right, so we're going to have our forearms are going to be on, on your mat. All right? Right now, I'm in a modified plank position, but this is what a plank looks like. So you wanna make sure when you're in plank position at all times that your shoulders, your elbows, all of that are stacked, okay? We don't wanna put pressure on our shoulders. Make sure your abs are tight so there's a contraction there. And you don't want your, your um, glutes, your booty in the air this way, or you don't want a little dip in the back as well. So you wanna be right there in the middle, okay? And as you can see, I'm on my toes back there. Yes, yeah, so this is what a plank looks like. Modified plank, you're gonna bring your knees to the mat. There's your plank, modified plank. But still make sure your abs are tight. So our plank hip rocks in a modified position is gonna look like this. So we're actually doing what it says. We're rocking our hips right and left, all right? Good core exercise, okay? So right and left is gonna be our count for one rep, and we begin now, that's one, two, three, hold those abs, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, ladies. Super job. All right, we're going to our last exercise, which are called knee tucks. But remember, we're doing the modified version of the knee tuck. So we are going to lift our upper body up and down like a crunch, like we did in the crunches earlier. But what we're going to do is we're going to crunch right here towards our knee, all right? But we're going to alternate our knee just like we did earlier, all right, for your knee tuck working on your upper and your lower abs. That's one reason why I love the knee tucks because you got a double crunch, okay? So we're gonna, off, not alternate count, my bad, but we're going to count right and left knee as one. Remember, begin with that pelvic tilt, breathe and don't pull on your head. We start now. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, good job. Nine, ten. Great job. And you can count along with me. That way, you know that you're actually exhaling because you cannot talk and not exhale. Okay, so that's why I'm always talking because I have when I'm exercising, most of the time I'm exercising really hard and really intense. So talking for me reminds me to breathe, to exhale. All right, so you did really good. We did our five exercises. So now there were modified exercises. So now we're going to go ahead and pick things up. All right, we're going to start off with sit-ups. So remember what I said earlier, sit-ups, 
You're going to begin making sure your lower back is on the floor, so tilt that pelvis. Do not pull on your head or your neck, and we're going to exhale at the top, okay? If you feel like you don't have any control, meaning your knee, I mean your feet are lifting off the floor like this, then just modify and just go to crunches. Or if you feel like you're struggling getting up, meaning you're going to have to put pressure on your head and your neck to help lift your body up, just modify to a crunch. All right? And we're going to start now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Great job. Moving to our next exercise, we're going to crunch. This time, instead of a knee lift like earlier, we're going to do a leg lift. All right? And remember, we're going to count. Our count is right, left, one rep. All right? So remember that as you count along with me. All right? Begin with that pelvic tilt, hands behind your head, and we're going to start now. One. Two, good, three, make sure you're breathing, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yes, yes, you did it. Great job. You did it. All right, so we're going to move on to our flutter kicks. Remember, we're not going to be lifting the body up and down like we did for crunches and sit ups. We're going to hold that contraction right there in the abs as we do our flutters. Okay. Whoo. Remember, we're not going to pull on our head, and if you need to place your hands to your side and put them in a timeout because you feel like you keep pulling your head and your neck, you can do that, okay? All right, remember, we're going to count right and left, one rep. Go ahead, tilt that pelvis, extend those legs. Remember, if you need to modify, you have, you basically keeping one leg on the floor like we did earlier, okay? All right, and here we go with our flutters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. You didn't think you could do it, but you did it. Abs feel stronger already. That was a good core exercise right there, flutter kicks. Very nice. All right, so we're going to move on to our planks for our plank hip locks. So we're going to get into plank position first on our forearms, on our toes back there. Booty is not in the air. Remember, it's not here, and we don't have a dip either. Right here and right left counts as one, and we start now. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, we're almost there. Ten. Yes. Yes. We did them. We did them. All right, our last exercise, we got knee tucks. All right. So instead of alternating our knees like we did earlier with the tuck, we're going to bring our knees in together. Upper body does come up like the crunch and like the sit up. Okay, so our lower body, I mean, I'm sorry, upper body does not stay flat and it does not stay up. So we actually bring it into a crunch right here. 
legs extend, bring them back in. All right, you ready? This is our last exercise. We got 10 of these, and remember, lovely exercise if you wanna work on that little pooch down there. Yes, because you're working lower and upper abs with this exercise. Let's go ahead and make sure our lower back is flat to the floor. And we start now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, huh, ten. Great job, ladies. We did that. We did that. All right, so as I promised earlier, we got 30 second planks. We get a break and then we got another 30 seconds for our planks. All right, we can, we can do this, we can do this. And remember, you can modify the plank or you can start off with a, a, a plank and then modify if needed, okay? Our goal is to try to hold it for 30 seconds today. But ultimately, we want to be able to hold our plank for 60 seconds, one minute, okay? Planks are really good for strengthening your core. You want a snatched waist? Do planks every day, okay? Just like you need to drink your water every day, do your squats every day, do your planks every day if you want to snatch waist. All right. So, I have my timer here because I know you guys don't want me to count. I know you don't want me to count, okay? So, many of you already know I'm not good at counting or being a timer. So, I have my stopwatch here for set on 30 seconds, okay, for our plank. So, we're going to get in our plank position on our forearms. Remember, this is what it looks like, and this is the modified version. Y'all ready? All right, get ready, get your mind right. And we begin now. Huh. Breathe, do not hold your breath during your place. So you're gonna be so tempted to, but you need to exhale. Remember to stack, make sure those shoulders, elbows are stacked up under you. Yes, no dip in the back, no booty in the air. You're gonna hold. Planks are also good for lower body because you're working those quads as well. Yes, and upper body as you can see. Bam! That was 30 seconds. Wasn't that fast? That was almost like 10 seconds. Okay. So we're going to get a little break. Get your mind right. 30 second break and we're going to do this again, okay? You can do this. We can ready to snatch this waistline, okay? We're going to snatch it. Get it tight, get it right. All right? All right, so it looks like we are beginning now for our second set. Let's go. Huh. Breathe, exhale out. Abs are tight, hold them in, girls. Booty not in the air. Remember, if you need to modify, that's your modified knees on the floor. Hold, hold, hold. We got 10 seconds. Hold, hold, hold. Five seconds. We're done. We did it. Fantastic. If you would like to do a third round, just keep going. All right, you can stop right here and then you can press rewind and do it all over again for your third time. Each set consisted of 50 reps. So we've done 100 reps together, proud of you. So if you wanna do 150 or even 200, you can do it four times. They're really simple exercises, beginner friendly. Don't forget about the modifications, okay? If you need to, we'll go ahead and just stretch our abs out just a little bit. Uh, before we close out. So I want you to reach through your fingertips. Yes, feel that stretch along the, the ab area. Yes. Another 
a good stretch for the lower back. Lift your knees and you can let them fall to the right or to the left. Ooh, that feels really nice. Yes. Always remember, if you want a stronger back, you got to have strong abs. And, and vice versa. You know, your back has to be strong as well to have strong abs. So core exercises are excellent. Continue doing those planks. Ooh, yes. That feels nice. Yes. All right, ladies, I got to go. I enjoyed doing this ab and core workout with you, living room workout with you. All right, so remember, remember, remember to subscribe. Tap that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so you'll know when I'm dropping my next video. Also, please like, please share to your friends. And don't be shy about commenting. I'm always open to constructive criticisms or su good suggestions. Um, also, you can let me know what other areas you want me to target um, in my future workout videos as well. Okay? Proud of you. You did a great job. And I'll be seeing you soon.